ride your horses. Go to dinner. Essence of survival? What are you talking about? Want to find out? Just close your eyes. What do you perceive? Well, um, I hear noises. Yeah. What else? <coughs> well, oh, something stinks. Exactly. The smell. Impulses going straight from the senses to the limbic system, triggering an emotional response. Memories. The well-being of the mind. But, uh, well, that smells like... Well, that smells like shit. What did you expect? What do you think people use as fertilizers around here? Too much information. Sorry. So, who are you and what are you doing here? Before the fall, I used to work in a fragrance manufacturing company. I consider myself lucky to have been professionally active within the only century when the world actually smelled nice. Now it's back to normal. So I asked myself, how can I change that? What scent would make people the most happy in this miserable world? I sure hope you don't mean smelling like shit is the essence of survival. Of course not. I have this really exciting idea for a new fragrance. People are gonna pay a fortune for just a whiff. I called it Turn Me On, and it's almost finished. I just need some scraps for the heart note. A uh, heart note? Hmm, the middle note of the perfume. Metal scraps and lavender. That's all I'm missing. Oh, of course. Metal scraps and lavender. The obvious blend. Naira goes out of her way to be... controversial. If you bring me some, I'll tell you everything about my secret formula. Naira said she needs lavender for her perfume, too. Hm. Now that makes more sense. Metal scraps. Naira wants them. Oh, I hope this isn't some wild goose chase. Making perfume out of metal? <laughs> Sounds absurd. Here, your, uh, ingredients. Mmm, good. I wish there was more oil on the metal scraps, but... Oh, Naira, can't you just be thankful for what you've got for once? She gives me this shit every day, I swear. Okay. Okay. Voila! It's ready. Here, smell it. Wow. It smells... It's... Oh, boy. It's like heaven. What is it? Silly little boy. Too young to know, aren't you? It's new car smell. A... A car? Are you disappointed? The scent of luxury is the bass note, the smell of confidence is the heart note, and the fragrance of risk and adventure is the head note. All you dream about is to turn it on and drive away into the distance. Thanks so much for helping me out. Unlike some people. Here, have this. I rubbed it with Turn Me On. This'll remind you to tune into your sense of smell now and then.
can't go through the tunnel either. Aider's keeping us prisoners so. in our own home. Catch me if you can! <laughs> What did they want from you? If you'd been there like you said you'd be, I'm... Oh, oh, I did my best. I didn't know there was anyone else in the tunnel. Lucas's death is a big deal. They love this motherfucker like a father. Ato doesn't have Lucas's charisma. He's gonna have problems. Ader said he might let me through to the center, if I help him. What? What are you supposed to help him with? He wanted me to find Lucas's weapon, the uh, Lazarus. Went missing from the crime scene. And he believes finding it will help find the killer. The Lazarus, huh? Fancy set of brass knuckles, right? So, we just have to find it. I declined. What? Don't want to work for those guys. I'm not the military type. Besides, he won't help me until the killer is caught. Then how do you expect to get to the center, huh? One step at a time, kiddo. Step one. Find the Lazarus. Shit. I thought you were smarter than that. I'll find another way. Okay, maybe that's good. The PK respects strength. It's the only language they understand. Let's find those damn brass knuckles on our own. That way, Etor will get what he wants, but without taking you for granted. You'll have the upper hand. You'll have to let us through. Now... Now you're talking. 
I know a guy who trades stolen goods and other shit he gets from thieves. A fence? Part-time fence, full-time scammer, an artless one, too. He's got half the city after him for debt right now. If anyone in Villador is fool enough to buy a peacekeeper weapon, it would be him. And what's his name? Hubert Carbazos, also known as Half-Ass Hubie. Every day he sets up shop in the nearby windmill and waits for customers. Probably selling booze and weed to the PKs. If you want to find the Lazarus, talk with Hubie. I'll chase down some other leads. Okay, I'll try and track him down. You'll see. Finding him will pay off for you. Pay me back for last Safety time. and hygiene in the worst sense. How's your day going, they Abigail? Ah, <sighs> give it a rest. Like Didn't sleep with the way all Add two and two together and see what yeah. you get. Did I tell you I want to leave? One's next door. Don't worry. Thanks for your purchase. I don't know how. When 
look around you. Everyone's a potential. I don't know what to do about it anymore. That's what we said back then. One at a time, please. Hubert? No, not me. I'm waiting for Hubie too. So get in line. Got it. You know when I'll be here? Maybe in an hour. Maybe two. You never know with old half assed That said, he's got the best moonshine. So, worth the wait. Uh, nothing to do but wait, I guess. Hey, you Hubert? Who's asking? A customer. I want to buy something. Hey, you're that stranger they wanted to hang, aren't you? Hey, Hubie, you got a special customer. It's that pilgrim from the bazaar. W wait, I just want to buy something. So, that was Hubie, wasn't it? Yep. Apparently he had an urgent appointment with another customer. Uh, yeah, sure. Hack on. He's running away. Nah. Sounds like you be. Oh, wait a sec. I see him. Arsenal's running to the northeast. Faster, Aiden. You almost got him. God, he's not here. Ah, impossible. I saw him right there. That little weasel must be hiding. Look around. Oh, wait, I see him. He's climbing. See that GRE building? He's climbing to the roof. <laughs> ah, damn. Lost him. But he's got to be on that rooftop, Aiden. Find him. Hubie! Hubert! I just want to talk! Wait. Don't hurt me! I don't know anything! About what? I haven't asked you anything yet. I don't know anything about anything, I swear! I'm told that you're a fence, hmm? A fence? No way! A reseller, maybe, but... I'm looking for the Lazarus. Yeah, I used to belong to Lucas, the late PK commander. Hey, don't try to tell me you don't know who Lucas is. Well, then I won't. You know anything about the Lazarus? Are you kidding me? Even if I'd been offered those brass knuckles, I would have refused. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> that weapon is way too hot. How did you know the Lazarus is a set of brass knuckles, hmm? I didn't say that. Come on, everyone knew about Lucas's little love glove. He was always showing it off. If anyone thought I had him, they might also think I killed Lucas, which is bullshit. Yeah, but someone tried to sell it to you, right? I told you, I... Okay, fine. Maybe someone did, but I can't say who. Client confidentiality. Well, stop fucking around. Tell me or I... Her name is Maya. I met her in the tenement building at Meatpacking Square. 
near the old butcher shop. But I don't know anything else. Leave me alone. It overlooks some army barracks or some shit. All right, I can find that. Hey, Hakon. Hubert said someone tried to sell him the Lazarus. Do you know Amaya? No. Strange, because I thought I knew all the women here. I'm headed to Meatpacking Square. The Meatpacking Square. It's a fucked up place. There are some barracks there the army set up in 23 when shit went south. She's supposed to be in one of the buildings that overlook them. Okay. Stay in touch, bro. Shithole indeed. Hey kids, um, I'm looking for a woman named Maya. <laughs> it was so funny. Maya ain't a grown up. She's just a plain old girl. Well, uh, you were the one trying to sell a PK weapon to Hubert? Yeah, but the jerk didn't want it. Got all freaked out and chased me away. How did you get a hold of a peacekeeper weapon? We all found it. Was wandering around with these punks and ran across a corpse. Happens a lot. He was totally dead. We searched him, and I took the brass who's a Watsits because I figured someone would pay a pretty penny for him. Maya, I need that weapon. It's very important. You expect me to just hand that brass who's a Watsit over? Are you nuts? The who's a Watsits real name is the Lazarus, and it belonged to an important PK. We might have a war if I don't return it. You could help us find a murderer. Okay, I'll give you this stupid thing. But for 500. That's a lot of money, kid. Of course it is. Life's damn expensive. I have to buy water and a marker for my brother. He's turning 12 soon, you know. I can give you 10, and that's my last offer. Deal! Nobody wanted to buy it anyway. Finder 
Reapers, keepers? Hey, Akon. I have the Lazarus. Cool. Get your ass to Eto with it. It'll make the perfect birthday present for him. Though I have no idea when that prick was born. I'll be near Metro Station. Okay. It doesn't end up like things did on New Year's Eve. You know what that reminds me of? Aiden. Didn't expect you to come back. Well, here I am. Wait, let's recap. I delivered the Lazarus and you let me through to the central loop, right? I believe that was the offer on the table, so yes. The answer's yes. That offer still stands. You help me, and I help you get to the center. Glad we're on the same page, because I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. Uh, a girl had him. She's 10 or something. She didn't kill him, just looted the corpse. Stop, we'll get back to this later, leave us. Oh, it looks like a constellation on your arm. Those are rank tattoos. When we ran low on resources, tattoos eventually replaced medals. They show our hierarchy. Like in prison? Prison or military, it's all the same. There's always a pecking order. I did what you wanted. It's your turn. Get me to the center. Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Aider, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this. Token of gratitude. Aider, I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop, too. My wife and kids are there. And I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me, or you can wait until I find him myself. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Oh, bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. The people of the bazaar are simple folk. Why would they risk defying you? And that's why I want to discover the truth before the orders come down to use force. Besides, appearances can be deceiving. They want to get rid of us. They think anarchy is the key to building a new world. Well, there is plenty of anarchy these days. Carl is a faux, pious hustler who brainwashes others with slick speeches. He says everyone's equal, but it's bullshit. You can't be a leader and an equal at the same time. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes, as a matter of fact. But this is totally hush-hush. Word of this cannot get out. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy, carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. The men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. 
I'm telling you this, because if you find that little trophy, then you found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. Peter wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. Not doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar, but I turned him down. Oh, figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless... Do you prefer the girl? Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's... you'll see. Aren't you going? You can't quit me, can you? I told you. I look into Carl. Gonna see what I can dig up here. But when the commander is killed, they turn the place upside down. This chatter about the night runners rising from the ashes lately. People need hope. Sweet weapon you got there, Aiden. Is it new? Remember, Builder. You know what happened to you. Who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. 
How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. <clears throat> Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Bad. And getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Not really. But uh, why don't you tell me more about your people? We are called the people of the bazaar, simply because of where we live. But who we are truly are free people. Free from lies, free from money, Free from religion, wars, politics, and the dark cloud that has blanketed the earth. That sounds great. Too good to be true, in fact. Oh, we have our challenges. Water is scarce, for example. But with courage and patience, we will someday create a paradise. Well, you seem almost thankful for the collapse of civilization. It was as tragic as it was inevitable. Consumerism. Belief in the almighty dollar led to this catastrophe. So, we here strive not to make the same mistake twice. It would be a crime. We want to create a new order based on social bonds, on family and community. A society where people support each other and adhere to justice. No need for the police, military, or false authorities to shoot those they are meant to protect. We have a place for everyone. But let's get back to your stories. Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you, then? A wolf. You better watch out. I'm relieved, then. A true wolf doesn't have to announce he's a wolf. You know what? I think it's time I set things straight, too. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? I need to ask her about Lucas's death. Oh. Why would a pilgrim care about PK business? What's in it for you? Well, let's say a man's death should be another man's concern. Isn't that what separates us from the infected? I guess you have a point. Lucas's death is our concern as well, but mainly because we are the prime suspects. I have never hidden my views on the peacekeepers. The old world fell because of people like them. Greedy, power-hungry fascists. Building the new reality based on the old values would not be wise, to say the least. Of course, according to the PK, such claims automatically make me, and all of us, potential killers. So the sooner Lucas's murderer is found, the better for us. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man, 
That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. But just to be clear, I'd be surprised if she knew anything about it. Sophie is a fighter, not an assassin. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'll see you around, Carl. Any chance? I'm Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? Does it make a difference? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. Maybe that's because I just got into the city. For reals? Wow. Respect. I heard that outside the walls, it's a bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? <laughs> Nothing, my friend. Just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. But about the job. First and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners. And it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarriand. They'll fill you in on the details. I didn't agree to this yet. Haven't said you didn't agree, either. Just think it over. You'll come around. It's easy money. Seriously, there's no time for delay. Haven't seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. You look anxious. Look, Urban, your nosy friend's back. Found a job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm, ballsy. Okay then. What does your hungry soul crave? Uh, someone like you must know a lot. Out of modesty, I won't deny it. And maybe a little bird told you what might have happened to Lucas? <laughs> you know, I heard the pilgrim has come to the city. Very nosy. Grills people about stuff. Gets in the way. Sounds a lot like you. It can't be a coincidence. Sure it can. I don't believe in them. Now, you know anything about Lucas or not? No, well, that kind of information is expensive. You can't afford it. I could work for it. You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. Oh, <laughs> that's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. <laughs> Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. He lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But getting to him is another story. And why? Hubert's not just a fence. He makes money where he can, and now he's hiding from half the city. He's super paranoid. Lives like a rat in a maze to keep himself safe. You'll need to climb up and find one of his secret passages to get in. I can handle it. When you're there, give him the password Sayonara, so he knows I sent you. Got it. some powdered milk in the old school hidden behind this collapse. 